Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending April 7th. As usual, I'm recording this the Sunday after, which is Easter Sunday. I hope you're having a great celebration in whatever way you choose to celebrate Easter. Hope all the kids that are having Easter egg hunts have a really good time. Find all the Easter eggs. Eat enough candy to have fun, but not get sick. First off, I'm just going to do two articles this week, being that it's an Easter weekend. Uh, first off, this was sent to me by my friend Mitch, also known as Shifty, from Bugsplat TV. This is an article from the couriermail.com.au. It's called AMA Warning After Christian Group Set Right Performs Exorcism on Two-Year-Old. Now this one kind of made me a bit suspicious, especially after the first paragraph of it refers to the fact that um, it's a husband and wife team, first of all. The husband seems to have some kind of a degree in psychology, and then the wife is a supposed expert in exorcism. But it says here in the first paragraph of the article, it says, She said people find them online and through psychic fairs, and they also visit schools and prison. If you're getting your references through psychic fairs, that puts me to be a little bit suspicious as to whether this is just uh, kind of maybe a bit hokey. Now, I can't really, I don't have any experience. I haven't seen them operate. I, ha I don't think I've even seen a video by this husband and wife team, but this sure uh, makes me rather suspicious. Um, I would also say, you know, she claims that, well, they do cover the psychology part of it because her husband comes along with her and he has the degree in psychology, but um, nothing wrong with also, if you're going to perform an exorcism, why not also refer to the people of some refer the people that you are doing this on to some kind of medical help besides too. Um, if nothing else, at least then if it didn't work and if you really are a so-called true exorcist, then uh, nothing wrong with getting confirmation of it. I mean, even Jesus himself, when he healed the leper, he had the leper go to the priests and see that he actually was cured of the leprosy. He actually got um, the authorities at the time to confirm that what he actually did did take place. So. Um, that's the thing I'm rather suspicious of. And if you read down to the bottom of this article, too, I got a reference to another article that kind of ties things together, at least what I had my suspicions about towards the end of this article. It talks about a, a 60 Minutes video. And there's this team, and the uh, team consists of three teenage girls. Well, one's actually 20 years old. The other two are 17. And one of them is the daughter of Bob Larson, which in the Christian community, he's pretty well known. And he uh, doesn't tend to shy away from publicity. And if you watch the video towards the bottom of this, and this is from the uh, AOL.com site that I will put down here, but watch the video, the one towards the bottom especially, and it refers to them as the Charlie's Angels of Exorcist. Uh, they're also, I think they're called the God Squad by some people, depending on the articles you read. But to me, it seems like a, a pure setup for a reality TV show. Now, I know they're probably running a little bit dry on subjects right now. As a matter of fact, when I watched last night, I saw that um, there's a show about guys that build aquariums. I think it's called Tanked, and they're actually advertising that there's going to be a second season of the show. Now, I've never actually watched one of them. Uh, I think maybe tuning through, I actually caught a few minutes of one, but I don't know a lot. But, you know, as much as I like aquariums, too, and some the aquarium designs can be really cool, I don't know, to make two seasons of a reality show out of it, but evidently... Um, it's enough to keep an audience because they're renewing it for the second year, but I don't know. Maybe this is one of those things, too, to where they're going to just uh, do it for the entertainment. I have quite, kind of a problem with when people are using Christianity and God to uh, make a reality TV show for either feeding their own ego or for pure entertainment. It, I don't know, kind of rubs me the wrong way, and I don't really think very highly of it. I will, if it ends up being a reality TV show, I think I will take a pass on it. And that's not saying as a Christian that I do not believe in demons, because I certainly do. They're, uh, they're fallen angels. I believe in angels. I believe in demons. I believe in miracles. But um, you're not going to necessarily have to stand in line uh, at an Oral Roberts service to be able to get your miracle. You can pray to God and ask for a miracle, and the same God that loves you and loves Oral Roberts and everybody else can grant you the miracle just by praying for it yourself. So you don't necessarily have to believe everything somebody uh, that comes across as a television preacher or comes across in a news article or something like that feeds you. I think the best source is just to go to your Bible and actually study it and learn what uh, learn the way Jesus practiced it. He didn't have to go through. Uh, and these people, the other thing that I don't like about it is these uh, these group of teenage girls actually charge for exorcisms and they say some, a lot of times it takes more than one one time to get it right. Well, I don't recall Jesus ever taking multiple times to uh, 
do an exorcism or a healing if it needed to be done. Basically, he did it in one shot, and I don't think he charged for it. So anyway, that's my take on these things. And next up, this is something that a lot of people might think is hokey, but I really think there is something to it. And these are the mysterious sounds that are pe people are hearing in various parts of the country and even the world. Some of them are a, ho a hum, some of them are a drone. I remember in the 80s the stories of the Taos hum, and I was actually in Taos, New Mexico, a couple of times myself. And uh, at the time when I was younger, I had very excellent hearing. In fact, uh, way up into the high frequency range, a lot more than I do now. And I was never able to pick up something like that. But the reports to me seem so genuine that certain people were actually hearing a drone or a humming noise. Um, there's other different types of sounds too, some kind of uh, sounds over in Europe and stuff like that that sounds almost like some kind of a, a, a craft or something like that, like jet engines or something, but with no nothing that you could see in the air or anything like that. And so I've been watching for any kind of a story that would address this. And as a matter of fact, just recently, I think uh, the last one was March 20th in Clintonville, Wisconsin, which is just north of me, and this is in the central part of uh, Wisconsin. Those people have been hearing for quite a while. They've been hearing these mysterious booms, and just uh, they've had actual reliable people set up recording equipment now, and there's a recording of it on the article I will give you from abcnews.go.com, and then I will refer you to the Weather Channel. Actually, has even better recordings, and these sound like far-off cannon booms, and just a few seconds after, you hear almost an echo sound of a high-pitched screech after it. Well, the U.S. Geological Survey has actually said these are consistent with earthquakes. And I looked on the G USGS site, and on March 20th, there was a 1.5 magnitude earthquake recorded right in the dead center of town. Uh, and it was uh, five, they approximated that it was something like five miles down underneath the ground. And people even as far as Green Bay, Wisconsin, have felt some of these booms and shakes. So yeah, Clintonville, Wisconsin, and these uh, are something that have actually been traced to something. Now, whether these uh, low moans or uh, hums can be traced to earthquakes or something else, uh, maybe eventually somebody will be able to come across. Some people think it's the, uh, if you want to look up H-A-A-R-P, the, pro the program HARP, and see if uh, you get references to that, that maybe they may be creating these sounds or whatever, but yeah, this one's actually traced down and confirmed to be of natural origins and causes. So anyway, that's about it for this week. Next week I've got a special deal on some software that I talked about in an earlier TDD report, a, f a special 50% off that the manufacturer offered me, and I'm going to offer that to all the viewers next week. So stay tuned for next week's show. I will catch you next week.